Hello everyone, this is going to be part two of my internal combustion engine made from 3D printed parts. And currently, I am almost finished with the lower end of the motor. Um, I have the, the crankcase done with the cylinder housing and the cylinder is uh, glued in there. I'm currently finishing up the last little piece of the connecting rod here. And I have the bolts welded. I have an all thread rod with a nut weld on top for that, for holding the entire thing together. Uh, my crankshaft is welded up and ready to go. And this is going over here with my pile of 3D printed parts. That doesn't work. So yeah, that last piece, 80% done if my phone will focus. 80% done almost done there it's going to require a little bit of cleanup but other than that it is getting pretty close um it is going to take me a little bit longer because i have to test compression and everything but this is part one of part two so uh, i'll get back to you when i guess i feel like it needs another update okay so right here i have the i have made the head i have the spacer for the uh for the carburetor and I have everything put together. I have it on a, I got a hub for the flywheel. This isn't bolted on there yet right now. I'm still, I still need to get valves, which are going to be arriving in the mail. Um, but that is the carburetor on the head. And right here, this hub is for turning over the engine. And I made sure that's bottom dead center right there. Flip it over one. So it's like right there top dead center so that will work for that now all that's left to do is get, wait for the valves uh, i need to find screws for the spark for the spark plugs basically and then basically assemble the rest of the engine and get it to run they need to print off a the flywheel the starter the t the top of the valve train the cam and some of the pulleys and a belt and then print the ignition module and stuff like that so there's still a lot of work to be done but it's getting closer the lower the lower end of the engine is officially done okay so it's been a little while since my last update but i have most of the valve train done i've got the valve cover right there done the valve train and the camshaft is done and the valves are done on the inside there can't push them with one hand um but i have the screws in there for the spark the valves are in there, which I just used some big screws for that with a countersunk head. Um, I have the flywheel on the engine. I have, I'm using a number 25 chain for the, uh, for the timing chain. Um, it was easier to print that than to try to print a belt and then the pulleys and stuff. So I decided to go with that. Got the, I have the sprocket printed for the crankshaft. Uh, I'm currently printing the one for the camshaft, which will go on here. Um, and after that one's done, uh, I'm going to have to print the ignition module, which I tore apart a light switch to make the ignition module. This will be my contact brake ignition system, which I have a coil right here. Um, steel balls, steel BBs for the uh, flywheel weights, and it is nearly done. It's getting close now. Um, I, I should be done with it, hopefully by this weekend. Um, but yeah, there will be more updates in this video, so keep watching. So it's been a while since my last update on this engine. Um, I currently have a lot of stuff done on it. I got the ignition module printed out. I got the uh, whole engine head assembled. I got the flywheel printed out. I have a chain tensioner on here, which actually turned out really nice. Let's see if I can adjust it. Right here is the chain tensioner. fully 3d printed except for like the bolts and stuff and it is um, fully adjustable I have adjustments for right here back and forth here and then up here back and forth here for tensioning it actually and then yeah it turned out a lot better than I thought it would I thought it'd be too weak but it actually turned out pretty good there's that it runs the valves there's still no compression I have to take the valves apart 
and fix something in there because I'm not getting any compression. I think it's, and it's leaking through the valves. So I'm gonna have to do that. I will get a new head gasket too because you're not supposed to reuse them. So I'll have to make a new head gasket and I'll have to seal the valves up. And then I think it'll actually be time to start testing. Oh, and I have one more thing to print. I have to print the uh, little ignition lobe so for my contact brake ignition system. But yeah, it's getting really close. Hopefully it'll be done soon. Okay, so this is going to be the last part in part two. Um, it took me a little bit longer to get here than I thought it would. I had a minor catastrophic failure. Um, first of all, I need to reprint these. Uh, that broke there. Um, I got the starter printed out there, which I think that was there before in my other update. Uh, it's been a while. I got that printed out and then the little lobe on top of there for the contact brake ignition system. What ended up happening was the crankshaft bent because I didn't have it welded together. Um, I wanted to see if I could test fit it before I welded it and it worked up until it didn't. Um, and it broke the camshaft because the timing chain got all messed up when it bent. It pulled it down, snapped the camshaft off right there. Um, and it broke the top and bottom of the uh, crankcase. Right here's the top. I decided I could reuse the bottom, but not the top. Here's that. So yeah, there's that. that it's completely broken. But I think this is going to be the last part in part two, um, because the next part, I should be starting to actually test it and see if it works. Because I got really, I have good compression now. Uh, I put I put some RTV silicone in there and then in the valves, so it's getting actual good, com good compression. And so I think that'll be it for uh, this video. Um, please subscribe for future videos, because I am going to be trying my hardest to get this engine to run. And thank you Camden Bowen for making your new video. That was awesome. Seeing it run for eight and a half seconds longer or eight seconds longer, I guess. Uh, yeah, the eight seconds longer. That was really cool. And hopefully I can get mine to run for that. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.